Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Handel, trained nutritionist, personal trainer, and baker here in New York City. And I will now be a mixologist for you on Alt Baking Bootcamp with Well and Good. Today we're making what I am lovingly calling a bitter bailey, which is my take on an amaro and cream. So before we start our drinking, let's take a small detour over to our whipped cream, which we are going to make and infuse with Bailey's Deliciously Light Irish Cream. Whipped cream is very basic, so long as you have an electric mixer. You also wanna make sure you start with cold cream. And if you're feeling really fancy and chef-like, you would chill your metal bowl. As long as you put this in the freezer for like 10 minutes, that's gonna keep it nice and cold as it whips and that's gonna really stabilize your whipped cream. Okay, so before our cream gets too warm, let's pour it into our chilled bowl. And then you can really play with the amount of sugar that you want in this. I'm going with two cups of cream and one third of a cup of sugar. But remember that your Bailey's Deliciously Light is slightly sweet already. So you can of course play with the amount of confectioner sugar that you end up adding. So you're gonna wanna start by whipping your cream and your sugar together first. But I would say you want it about medium high. After about a minute and a half, you'll start to see it really change textures. And that's when I'm gonna add in my cream of tartar. You're gonna pour a steady stream of your Bailey's Deliciously Light while it's still whipping. So we can go Bailey's in one, vanilla in the other. We'll start whipping medium low, and then we'll pour it in. And you don't want it to go for longer than 30 seconds because again, we're looking for a smooth whipped consistency and not butter. Once you're done, you can keep it in the metal bowl and pop it right in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. And now we can drink. Well, let's make the drink. We're going to start with equal parts Bailey's Deliciously Light Irish Cream and Amaro. We're gonna go one ounce of each of them straight into your shaker. Here's our Amaro. More fun. So we're only doing half an ounce of whiskey because, well, I poured the rest on my surface. And also because you don't want it to mask the delicate flavor of your creamy Baileys. Okay, cap on. Ensure that it is fully secured. And now let's watch me make a fool of myself as I shake this. Ooh, I'm sweating. The more power you shake with, the more frothy your cream is gonna get, and you want that little bit of crema at the top for aesthetic purposes, but also because it tastes delicious. Um, so I'm gonna do this first. It truly looks like the most perfectly balanced iced coffee, but it is not that. And do you see all this foam that's coming to the top? That's the crema that I'm talking about. That's what you want. We've got our bitter Bailey, and we're gonna make her slightly less bitter by adding our Bailey's infused whipped cream. All right, so a heaping spoonful because you can. Cheers. Wow, that's so good. It's like if you're full after dessert but you still want something sweet, and sophisticated, this is what you make. You impress all your friends. It's like the Amaro is just bitter enough to allow the whipped cream to really bring the sweetness out of the Bailey's Deliciously Light. If you're looking for the recipe for this delicious and beautiful cocktail, it is listed in the description below. And until then, let's subscribe to Well and Good and get some more baking done together. See you next time.